Hello and welcome back to another video. Today, we will be heading down to the workshop right now in my backyard because today we're going to be making a scrap plywood shield. And I do realize that I painted it the IKEA colors accidentally, but <laughs> those are just the paints I happen to have around. Now, we're making the shield to protect ourselves from the Skill Tree Monkey Army. Their leader, Clever, has slowly been building up a suit of armor and a handful of weapons for himself. So these are the first steps I'm taking into being able to prepare myself for intimate battle. Now, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can see how this battle plays out. I'll leave a link to Skill Tree's YouTube channel in the description and up in the iCards. Now, let's head down into the workshop so we can see how we can build this beautiful, this beautiful shield. All right, so what you're gonna need for this project is first, a scrap piece of plywood, a dowel that you can get really get a good grip in your hand around, some sort of bicycle inner tube, or you can use an old belt as well, and your choice of paints. I'm using some powdered milk paints. They're pretty cool. You add some water to them, and they have a really cool look as well. So, let's get into it. So, to start off with, I want to find the center of this scrap piece of plywood, and unfortunately, the square I have isn't long enough. It's short by about maybe 10 inches. So, let's see if I have something else I can use. How about this? This might work, kind of, sort of. So, this right here is our approximate center for this scrap piece of plywood. Now if we take a string and a nail, and of course a pencil, we can carefully measure out some string that we can wrap around this nail and go all the way around like a giant compass. Okay, by the way, you're gonna wanna keep these around for a little bit. We're gonna need them later. Now, with our shield pretty much cut out, we want to make the straps that we use to actually hold on to the shield so we can pick it up and use it or, you know, wield it. I'm gonna be using my left hand for the shield because in the future, I don't know, you might have to make some sort of sword that I'll wield with my right hand. Okay, sit rep. Um, inner tube, horrible idea. Why'd you think of that? Garbage. Uh, better idea, some nylon strap that I found. Works much better. It's not gonna pull through the screws. Put some washers in there as well. It's much better, much stronger. Nylon strap, much better than the inner tube. All right, so we've got our strap all set up for our shield. Now, while you were distracted, I cooked up this little guy. I'm going to attach it to the shield right here. 
and that is gonna let us slip our arm through and actually hold on to the thing. Now I made it out of our dowel, which I can get a really nice grip over, and pieces of our scrap plywood that we used from cutting out the circle. So that's gonna sit again right here, and I'm just gonna need to drill a couple pilot holes so I can put some screws in and get that nice and solidly attached. Then we can go on to our next step of actually painting this thing. All right, I think this came out pretty good. What do you think? I really love the milk paint finish and that's gonna weather really cool eventually. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a like. If you really love what I'm doing here, feel free to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.